Okay, uh, today we're going to learn about the, uh, what uh, protein engineering might be. Uh, first, uh, you must understand uh, the physiological roles of proteins in life. Basically, uh, four types of uh, macromolecules proteins and nucleic acid, carbohydrate, lipid. Proteins are very unique. Uh, in a way, it, they just uh, perform all uh, biological uh, phenomena. And sometimes it just uh, uh, serves as a building uh, materials of uh, organisms. The relationship between uh, proteins uh, with other things are briefly shown here uh, called central dogma. So basically uh, proteins just encoded uh, for their uh, uh, informations uh, in DNA uh, by a process called transcription and translation uh, proteins are made. Uh, proteins also uh, contains contain some additional uh, supplement uh, such as mineral and vitamin. You could watch uh, YouTube uh, to get uh, just a, a glance uh, idea the, about the proteins in uh, genetic information of flow. There are so diverse type of uh, organisms. Uh, basically, but uh, we could uh, summarize some. Common uh, characteristics uh, found in all sorts of organisms. Metabolism, that's all chemical reactions occurring in life, and you know, organism state uh, could respond to the uh, changes, stimulus. And also they just maintain always uh, their, their bodies and of course they must uh, proliferate to multiply. Uh, they also include uh, uh, the development and uh, growth. And also they are uh, very well organized. Uh, basically all organisms are composed of cells. Uh, they just uh, together make uh, tissues, uh, other organs, and finally individuals. And also uh, evolution. Uh, at the bottom you see uh, in this class, we might uh, learn uh, the, this kind of uh, different aspect of uh, life characteristics, uh, and also you see the relevant chapters. Uh, in this slide, I just summarize the functions of uh, enzymes just uh, read it uh, proteins uh, to perform their function 
just they depend on uh, unique three dimensional structures. In this brief uh, scheme, you see uh, this kind of uh, the freshly made uh, protein polypeptide uh, by ribosome. They just uh, uh, fold uh, to make uh, some uh, three-dimensional structures. Okay. So this three-dimensional structure uh, is functional uh, things. These these two things cannot perform any their. Intrinsic the functions. But the unfortunately, uh, how proteins could fold into, I mean, the change it into uh, unique uh, the structures, uh, uh, kind of black box. Meaning what? We don't know uh, exact information. How? Such things occur. Okay. So that limits uh, our uh, the application capability in this protein engineering. Just keep in mind that aspect. Uh, now I'm going to explain uh, what the protein engineering engineering might be. Uh, basically, uh, we just change or design uh, proteins uh, to get you know, more variable uh, proteins. This is very <coughs> uh, old but uh, still uh, young and uh, uh, we just uh, uh, imagine That field could affect to the uh, our society in so immensely. Okay, so we st we at current currently we just uh, apply two things: uh, just modify the pre-existing proteins to get this kind of valuable proteins, and uh, secondly, we might uh, design. Protein, new proteins, donor uh, designs. This is a kind of challenging thing. Uh, basically, <coughs> like other engineering fields, uh, we just uh, uh, depends on the basic knowledge about the protein uh, structure and function. We just uh, Design uh, the proteins with certain sequences that uh, we will fold into proteins with uh, predetermined structure and functions. So, what do we do in reality? We just uh, still in uh, currently we are uh, still investigating. To solve, to understand basic knowledge about the protein uh, characteristics, and because the first uh, the basic knowledge is very poor, uh, we <coughs> have we so, we just found out uh, alternative ways. That is uh, uh, practical. Which is not based on the uh, basic knowledge. Uh, for example, combinatorial evolution. Uh, we're going to learn about details of these things during the class. And still, we must uh, determine the all proteins, uh, etc. 
experimentally uh, to understand uh, better uh, their functions and uh, their roles in life. Okay, so technically uh, this field also dramatically improved. Specifically in this class, uh, you're gonna learn this kind of things. I just summarized uh, the first initial five weeks. Uh, we're gonna learn about the basics about the general aspect of proteins. Uh, and uh, followed by uh, detailing uh, specific proteins. For example, DNA binding proteins, membrane proteins, signal transduction proteins, immune systems, virus, and also some uh, relevant issues are also uh, dealt with, uh, like uh, uh, determination of protein structure, NMR and X-ray, crystallography technique, and also some trend uh, for the protein structure prediction engineering and designs. This is just a specific example. Uh, uh, we could apply uh, protein engineering to get uh, some new proteins. Uh, as you see here, uh, this is a immunoglobulin, mm, the fragment called FC, to which a certain protein called uh, G protein could bind to, uh, to this FC. But as you see here, this protein has uh, three helices. So part one, two, three. Uh, so actually, one, two are basically. Uh, involved in binding to this uh, immunoglobulin. Uh, this is helix 3 uh, basically uh, uh, plays a role in maintaining uh, uh, the correct confirmation of three dimensional structure of uh, the other two uh, helices. So without uh, helix 3, Helix 1 and 2 alone cannot fold into uh, their unique structure so that they cannot bind to this uh, protein. So, in this scheme, uh, people try to uh, create helix and Two without helix three, uh, that is still capable to binding capacity to this one. Okay, they could succeed uh, producing that things. This is at the bottom. Uh, they, they just uh, modify certain uh, residues, replaced uh, residues, amino acid uh, by second steps. Finally they got this one. Okay. We will learn uh, details uh, in the class. That's it for the introduction.